George Gilder wrote a book uh, that, that's now being reissued. Now it's called Men in Marriage. And his basic thesis is that we never lived in a patriarchy. We always lived in a matriarchy. And the reason, but it was good because the matriarchy, what he meant by that was not that men didn't have power. Men had an awful lot of power, but it's that the fundamental presupposition of civilization was that male patterns of being had to subordinate themselves to female patterns of being. If you think this is an absurd position, that there is a matriarchy, you're right. Like, he can't help himself here. He can't just say, hey, we've exaggerated inequality. He's got to say, no, actually, women have had it way better than men over time. And it's just an absolutely insane thing to say when women couldn't vote until 1920. Even today, women earn 82 cents for every dollar. 10% of Fortune 500 CEOs are women. 28% of Congress are women. Prior to the 1970s, marital rape was legal in every U.S. state. So he's talking about historically, he's saying, hey, there's been a matriarchy, which is crazy. And he hangs his hat on this obscure book, which is all about marriage and how there's a civilizing effect of marriage. But even if you buy that crazy theory in that book, that has nothing to do with all the other institutions of power. But Shapiro does a whole other thing here that for those of you who are Daily Wire watchers or if you have Daily Wire watchers in your life, I want you to take note of this. He starts this video with an absolutely brutal caricature of feminists. Let's go to this clip. I think there's a fundamental misconception by women about the quote unquote patriarchy and the patriarchal society. And what it led to was this, we've talked about sort of the false feeling about what men are. Men are brutal and terrible and evil and everything about men is bad and, and when they when they evidence masculinity that's because all masculinity is in some form toxic and aggressive and if we just wiped away the, the testosterone then all of society would be would be rainbows and, and <laughs> you know candy. He does this thing where he takes the most extreme views of people he disagrees with and tries to paint those as representative of those views. So he's saying they want to wipe away testosterone, there's this toxic masculinity and everything male is inherently bad, etc. Now, that's not the view of most feminists. That may be the view of some feminists, but a lot of feminists in my life are like, hey, we want equal treatment and equal opportunity. But that's not the world Shapiro wants his listeners to believe in. He wants to think everybody wants to just wipe away everything about you as a man, which alone would be fascinating and disingenuous. But it makes it particularly weird that at the end of this clip, Shapiro says the following. Males on their own, just in the wild, they will hunt and they will kill and they will rape and they will, they will do just awful evil things, which is exactly what you see in hunter forager societies very often. You don't see a lot of social bonds. You see men who are moving around and sort of abandoning kids and that, like that's very common. And you see it in, in anarchic societies, it remains very common to this day. Shapiro's saying the exact same thing that he's, he's basically saying feminists are wrong about. He's saying, you know, if not for the civilizing effect of marriage, men will do all these terrible things. He's basically saying there's toxic masculinity. Now, I don't even agree with that, but this is his position. Now, somehow it's okay for him to hold this position, but not feminists. So there's a glaring contradiction here. So needless to say, there isn't a matriarchy uh, and there probably still is a patriarchy if you look at all of the data available about the opportunities available to women. Um, and so please, if you hear this out there that there's a matriarchy, push back against it. But most importantly, you know, subscribe to what we're doing here. This is the Wire Watch, which is a new partnership between the branch which is a nonprofit media organization, and the Midas Network, where we're just going to be looking at Daily Wire clips uh, and you know, giving you context, giving you the facts. And so if you like what we're doing, subscribe to the Lost Debate podcast wherever you get your podcasts. That's the Lost Debate. That's our show over at the branch. And also the Majority 54 podcast, which is my podcast with Jason Kander over in the Midas Network.